Hello, and welcome to this behind the scenes where we take a look at Artemy, the Huntress. I was so inspired by Greek and Roman mythology's goddesses of the hunt, Artemis and Diana, their hunting animal companions and how intertwined they were with the shape of a crescent moon. I wanted to incorporate these aspects into Artemy, giving her a glowing bow resembling the moon and ivory horns that mimicked that same shape. I started with a very simple base, using a brown dress that tapered in the front, keeping these repeating patterns of crescent moons and triangles going through the piece. From there, I wanted to add a little bit of armor to her costume. So I made these hip pauldron type of things. I don't know if hip pauldron is even really a thing, but I'm not sure what else to call them. Anyway, these little armor pieces that would hang from either side of her hips. And they were this triangle shape, and I made it out of EVA foam. And then used more foam, essentially to just kind of build it up and give it a little bit more structure and depth. From there, I took my wood burning tool and started working in some wood grain into the biggest part of the pauldron. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a pauldron. Honestly, I don't know what else to call it. And from there, a little bit of paint honestly took it to the next level. Bringing in that wood detail and then outlining it in gold, I think made it look quite sharp. I decided I wanted to make a little bit of a corset that would kind of go around and cinch the waist and give a little bit more shape. And I wanted to stay true to what I had started, so I gave that a wood texture as well to match with the hippopaldrons. Giving it a base coat of brown and then going over it with a darker brown, just a really kind of light wash. So. I kind of just went all the way over it with this darker color and then going back with a damp paper towel and just taking a little bit of the excess off, mostly just what was on the top so that those deep grooves and ridges that make the wood texture what it is get the depth of shadow that really brings a more dimensional look to it. Now the horns. The horns were probably the most difficult aspect of this for me. I really struggled with them. Originally, I'd wanted to have them glowing as well, so I had tried a few different rounds of making it with foam and then carving it out, and I wanted to put like lights inside, but ultimately it didn't really turn out. It just kind of ended up looking gross. <laughs> just very raggedy. And so what I ended up doing was making that same EVA foam base horn and then covering it in an air dry clay, and then going in with a mixture of an X-Acto knife and a wood burning tool to kind of engrave these ornate shapes into it to again give it a little bit more richness. And so I gave it a couple coats of this ivory color and I wanted it to look a little bit more natural. and then going into those grooves that I made with a gold to just give it a little bit, almost like a porcelain, ivory, I don't know. It just looks cool, you know? Uh, then I hot glued them to a headband and that was pretty straightforward. I also added little bits of fur and some armbands and some gold detailing to the corset, making an arrow as well to go with my moon bow and from there we take it into Photoshop and begin really setting the scene. Adding in our little wolf by wolf until we have a pack and bringing that glow to that bow. 
my model was amazing and such a sweet, sweet soul and it was so incredible to get to create this with her. And here we are at the end with Artemy, the Huntress, and her pack. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.